Hello. Hi. Hey, hi, my name is Bovien and I am a world uh, wing foil master guru and stuff like that. <laughs> hi, my name is Wing and I'm world champion wing foiling freestyle and I am here to talk a bit about beginning to wing. When, when you're starting to win, you need to really get a big board. I would say at least 120 liters. It also really depends on your weight. So if you're a bit heavier or a bit lighter, you can have a bigger or smaller board. I'm on a really small board. I wouldn't start with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the wing size really depends on the amount of wind there is. But usually for a beginning, I would go with a 4.2 or a 5.0. So you have a, big, a bigger wing and more power. By getting up on the foil, there's two things you can do. Pump with your wing, or you can pump with your feet for the foil under the board. With the wing, you need to pump always like this. And pump with the foil at the same time. But there's one trick. You need to pretend you are on socks, on a slippery floor, and then you go like this. <laughs> Good ways to practice balance is of course wing a lot. Maybe on an indoor board, go shopping, windsurfing, maybe even yoga, like standing on your legs. So when you jive, you're turning with the wind. So you need to go downwind and you're, hold, you're going front side, so you're going downwind. And when you're in the turn, you let go of your back hand and you switch your hands. So your front hand is your other hand. And then you push the wing to where you want to go and grab your back hand as well. And then you go. And for tacking, you're turning against the wind. It's a bit more difficult than a jibe, especially if you want to stay on the foil. But I would recommend always starting with the tack that you start to switch. Because then you're already looking a bit to where you want to go and it's much easier. So you stand switch like this. I would stand switch like this. And you go upwind and you push your wing always to where you want to go. And then I switch my hand and then I'm also still pushing the wing to where I want to go and grab my back hand. And then I can fly on. So for jumping it's important that because you have a foil under the board that you put your foil a bit vertical when you're jumping because if you keep it like this it will stick to the water. So you fly high, you give your board a little push and then you tweak it up and jump out of the water. And then you're going like this. <laughs> 